Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and I'm going to show you how I made a simple vibrator table. I bored shallow holes in the corners of my base piece and table piece. Then I drilled a 1 quarter inch hole through, and counterbored a 7 16 hole on the opposite side so that I could press a bolt head flush with the table top and bottom. Then I used four springs left over from an old project and held them in place with washers and lock nuts. Tightening the nuts was tricky because the spring coils tended to lift the wrench off the nut. Then I attached the top and bottom pieces. I should have attached the vibrating motor before I connected these two pieces. It would have been easier. Six degrees of freedom. This motor was from the brush of a vacuum, and I put a hose clamp on the shaft to throw it out of balance. I screwed two hose clamps to the bottom of the table to hold the motor in place, and I drilled two holes in a washer to serve as a cable clamp. Then my assistant and I mixed up some plaster and poured it over our mold while we watched all the bubbles pop on the surface. And that's how I made a vibrating table in about 30 minutes. I think it'll be useful for all sorts of things. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.